Hello Lava friends, this week we talk about the release 11.26 including middle wars, more enum support and the stop sign. Let's go! First we continue our journey of supporting enums in Lava. With the latest addition you can now use backend and unit enums for registering a cache limiter configuration and for using named rate limited middlewares, like you can see here in this PR. Thank you, Seth. Next, we have a new artisan command for creating a job middleware. In this job, we want to make sure that we can process a podcast, but you can see we have a little bit more code here. So here we would process the podcast, but before that, we want to make sure that we only allow one job within five seconds to be processed. That's what's happening here. So this works, but yeah, this doesn't look so nice here. This makes this job a little bit messy. So there's a better place for this inside a job middleware. This was already working before, but now we have a new way to create a new middleware. So we can do this now with artisan, php artisan, make job middleware, and let's call this ray limited. Here we go. This was created. You can find it under jobs middleware. Here it is. And now let's bring in some code here. All right, let's import this class, which is the facade. And I think this looks good. So this is the same thing that we have before. We're now just also using those variables here so that we have access to next and to chop, which is now working as well. So this means our middleware is now fully prepared. So this means we can go back to our chop. And here, let's create now a new method public function middleware. All right, and here we're going to return an array with our new rate limited middleware like this. Let's also define and return type and here we go. All right, so we have now successfully added this middleware to this job here. All right, and here we can get rid of anything else except processing our job, which makes this job now way cleaner than before. And now we have this new addison command to create a job middleware as well. Thank you, Davy. And last, let's talk about pools. Laravel has a very convenient way to work with Symfony processes. So we can run a specific process, slice, print the working directory, and you can see we get a process result back and the result is the path of my Laravel application here, which is pretty nice to use. But what's also cool with processes in Lava, you can also use them concurrently. So this is what this looks like. We are now starting a new pool here with access to the pool. And now we're providing all the different processes that we want to run at the same time. And we're going to start this with the start method and with the wait method, we are waiting for the result. And then we get the result here with our output, which is working. Maybe let's just change this to some sleeping commands here. So first one takes one second, two second, and the third one takes three seconds to run. So this means since they're now running concurrently, this means this should take as long as the longest task, which is three seconds. But what we also can do here is while we have access here to if the pool is still running, and here I think it's is not empty here. Yeah. So while our pool is still running, we want to dump something out. Let's say waiting. All right, let's try this out. You can see this took now three seconds and we are half here waiting all the time. Maybe let's change this here to sleep in between one second so that we don't see the waiting output all the time. So this takes three seconds here again to run. Yeah, we see three times our output and then we get the result which is also pretty nice so you can yeah, dump something in between while your pool is still running. But what didn't work before was if you want to stop all the processes within this pool, which is now super simple. We can now use a new pool method, which is just called stop. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And this will now stop our pool immediately after the first second here. And now, yeah, the interesting thing here, what's cool here is that all those processes are now stopped gracefully through Symfony itself, which is pretty handy in sometimes. And then you don't have to think about what is happening with all those commands anymore because you stopped them gracefully. Thank you, Matthias. That's it for this week. Enjoy the new features and please let me know in the comment which of the new features you like the most. 
See you next time. Bye.